How's it going, everybody? Too Spooky here, and today, we're going to be counting down five facts about Frankie from One Piece. This video was suggested by... Quite a few of you guys. Like I've said before, and I will probably say again, I plan on getting to all of the Straw Hats at some point in time, but today we're going to be focusing on the shipwright himself, Frankie. Thank you everybody who suggested this video today, and I hope you all enjoy. Number 1 When the Straw Hats were on their way to Water 7, the crew was discussing shipwrights and debating about one joining and whatnot. Well, Luffy ended up drawing a poorly drawn picture of what he wanted the future shipwright to look like. On closer examination, this drawing actually looks quite a bit like Frankie. At least, some of it does. What I mainly see from first glance is the hair, or the hat, if that's what that is. Well, either way, Frankie's hair is spiked up pretty high, which in turn keeps the hair off of his forehead. And this picture also has spiked up hair, or a spiked up hat. The next thing I notice about this picture is the light blue color associated with Frankie, mainly with his hair color. After that, we move down a little and look at his nose. Well, it resembles Frankie's robot nose pretty closely in shape and area of the face. And the final thing that looks similar to me is the arms. They are very skinny at the shoulders, but get increasingly bigger as we get closer to the hands, which is yet another trait Frankie is famous for. Overall, this was a pretty funny way of foreshadowing if you ask me. Number 2 The first ship Frankie built that achieved his original goal of defeating a Sea King was the BF-35, otherwise known as the 35th Battle Frankie. At some point after this, Frankie wrote BF-36 on his shoulders, insinuating that he is the 36th Battle Frankie which also implies that he can defeat a Sea King. After the time skip, Frankie now has his huge cyborg body, and this body has BF-37 written on both of his shoulders, which shows that not only is this version of Frankie the newest battle Frankie in town, but that he is still capable of defeating a Sea King. So I guess it's sort of a running gag or a little nod to his past goals and accomplishments. Either way though, don't mess with Frankie. Number 3 Frankie's favorite foods are hamburgers, french fries, and anything that goes with cola. Which, I don't know about you guys, but I think we can all agree that pretty much everything can go with cola. Anyway, his least favorite food is marshmallows. And we all know that Sanji is the cook of the crew, but Oda stated in an SBS that each member of the crew have a favorite dish they like to prepare. And Frankie's favorite dish to cook is barbecue. Number 4 Something you might have missed in the anime was that one of the shirts Frankie wears in Opening 12 is the same shirt Luffy wears in the Dressrosa arc. Well, would you look at that? And the moment that you've all been waiting for... But not for very long. Number 5! It is widely speculated that the inspiration for Frankie came from Popeye the Sailor Man. For instance, they both have similar looking large forearms that have tattoos on them. They are both 34 years old, or at least Frankie was 34 when he was first introduced, now he's 36. And they both rely on food for energy and power. Popeye uses spinach while Frankie uses his cola. Another reason for this inspiration would be the fact that Popeye is an American-made cartoon. And like Oda has stated in a different SBS, Frankie would be from the USA if he were in the real world. So it just all comes together. But there you have it everybody, five facts about Cuddy Flam himself, Frankie. Hopefully you enjoyed this video today and hopefully you learned something. If you did, make sure to leave a like because if you leave a like, there is a 2% chance that I will give you a high five. It's a pretty good deal. Also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, we've got plenty more One Piece content on the way. The top 10 worst Devil Fruit videos should be coming out pretty soon, so be on the lookout. Also, don't forget to like and follow Too Spooky on his social media. Links are in the description. Oh, hey, thanks, Carl. And before we go, guys, I just wanted to let you guys know that I recently participated in a podcast with Pirate King Buggy and Roar Nora Sam about the YouTube community guidelines and the strikes that come along with that. Overall, it was really awesome to be a part of, and it would be so great if you guys could go check it out and leave some love while you're there. 
And I was also recently featured on All Day Anime's channel with his video about Meliodas from the Seven Deadly Sins. Which I know a lot of you guys have been asking about that anime, so if you want to know some stuff about it, you should definitely go check out that video. And also make sure to show lots of love while you're there. But if neither of these are doing it for you, well why don't you click here? For 10 facts about Monkey D. Luffy. And if you're just not feeling something One Piece related, well why don't you click here for 101 facts about Hunter x Hunter. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Hey, uh, too spooky. Yes, Bane, what is it? You suck. Oh.